I can't take this anymore. I can't. I did a live reaction video to the final chase race. And I told everyone that if Kyle Busch or Kevin Harvick won, or if Jeff Gordon won but with nefarious purposes, that that would effectively kill the Spring Cup Series. And even though that happened, everyone insisted that things would get better because of the new rules package for the cars. But guess what? And this I've learned at least twice last year with the Fontana IndyCar race and the Talladega chase race. No matter how good the racing is, if there is controversy or disaster to ruin the race, effectively, it's a bad race. And now, not only did NASCAR effectively kill the Cup Series, what they did last year. And I'm not just talking about Bush winning the championship after missing a third of the season. I mean the entire season, effectively. But now, because of what they did here, they have most certainly and definitively killed themselves in its entirety. Okay, so a few days ago, one of my YouTubian buddies posted in the latest video of mine prior to this one. He wanted me to do a rant video about the Xfinity and truck chase. I see the comment and I go, oh my god, they didn't. And sure enough, they did. Those idiots have made a chase for Xfinity and trucks. That's the last straw there. This is basically what those idiots have decided to do. For the Xfinity series, they will have a 12 driver chase with seven races with four drivers eliminated after every three races, and then the best person at Homestead among the remaining drivers wins. So, basically, it's the Sprint Cup chase minus the first round. Thanks. Really needed that. But it gets worse. The Xfinity series has something unique to them called the Dash for Cash. Well, apparently, at the Dash for Cash races, which is the April Bristol race, the April Richmond race, the May race at Dover, and July Indy race, they will have two heat races to determine the starting lineups for the main events. For example, at Richmond, there will be a 235-lap heat races and a 140-lap main event. So, essentially, to a certain extent... They're trying to make the dash for cash races like the Eldora truck race. Heat races, and then a main event. Oh. Gimmicky. Just horrifically gimmicky. And I was talking to a few people a, month, a few months ago about the benefits this would have, saying, well, if they're going to do that, that means they can, then it means the cup people can't be in the entire countdown format for them during their chases. Wrong. 
Quote, in order to keep the focus on the drivers in the developmental series, NASCAR has banned drivers who made the 2015 chase for the Sprint Cup from competing in the championship race for Xfinity and trucks at Homestead. Okay, so you're telling me that if a driver who didn't make the 2015 Cup chase, who's made the 2016 Cup, ra cup chase, can compete in these races... And the emphasis there is two races because the key word here is at Homestead. Which means someone like Bush and Harvick and who's someone else who competes in the Xfinity Series often? Keselowski. They can win basically all of these races as long as they don't compete at Homestead. Not the other six races in this crappy chase idea to begin with, but just not at Homestead. And yet someone who didn't make the chase last year, who could potentially get in 2016 for the Spring Cup, like uh, Tony Stewart, I guess. If he gets in this year but didn't last year, he could still compete in the Xfinity and truck events if he wants to. Is this the correct thing, NASCAR? Ugh. And the truck series basically is even worse than that. Because that is the best series NASCAR has going for them, but that, now they just went to crap. The truck series will have a eight-driver chase within seven races... With two drivers eliminated after every three races and a similar four driver best to finish champion is finale at Homestead. Problem. I don't know if you guys know the history about other forms of racing like I do. But one of the big dogs in auto racing right now, and I hope it stays that way, please don't screw them up, you idiots and fox. Is the NHRA. In 2007, they started tinkering with the format for a countdown, which is their answer to the chase, which is garbage. And their original countdown format is exactly like the truck chase minus the second round of the truck chase. Because originally they had the countdown to 8, the countdown to 4, and the countdown to 1. The only real difference is... I think it was 4 races, 4 races, 2 races. That's, that's if my memory serves me correctly. I think it was 10 races at that point. And I think it was eight drivers compete, then after four, it was a countdown to four, and then the countdown to one. I'm trying to think back to what it was. Because the countdown to eight was the eight drivers who were going to get in. And then there were four drivers competing for the championship. Then if you rem I remember Funny Car vividly because one of my guys won. Because the other three smoked the tires in the first round in the first of the two remaining races. And then my guy won the title. And then, sure enough, they changed it around a bit until they got, basically, their version of a chase, which ironically goes back to the first variation of the chase, which I did not agree with to begin with. Mm. And basically, the truck chase is essentially the original NHRA countdown. Now, if the NHRA learned that that was a stupid idea, what makes NASCAR think it's going to work with them? It won't. 
You just killed yourself on that one. And if you guys think that won't, this will. Quote, NASCAR will experiment with a 20-minute caution clock in the Camping World Truck Series. If a green flag run lasts 20 minutes, then the caution will come out. That would bunch the field as well to give teams the opportunity to work on their trucks under caution. The caution clock would be turned off with 20 laps remaining in all races except Canadian Tire, Motorsports Park, and Pocono Raceway, where it will be turned off with 10 to go, and also Eldora Raceway, which will not be used at all. We already have these caution clocks. They're called Phantom Debris Cautions. And guess what? Even if these caution clocks are turned off during these specified limits, you still have Phantom Debris Cautions to go off. Right, Kurt Busch? Face it, guys. NASCAR just killed themselves on this one. If Kyle Busch winning the cup chase after missing a third of the year in season didn't kill NASCAR, this did. We have been saying for years we don't want to chase. We want a legitimate championship. This is not it. Fucking idiots at NASCAR have done it once again. And for me, it's the last draw. Starting with Kyle Busch winning the chase, everything started going downhill for me, and everyone tried to cheer me up, saying that everything would get better, to the point I went against what I believed was the right thing to do and boycott the Spring Cup Series. And it was a little rant video I did with the sad music in the background. By now, everything has gotten better. I'm back to old happy pricky mirror mirror with a dragon must roar attitude with this scenario. And now I'm confident enough to do what I should have to begin with. And not only Basically tell everyone that the Cup Series is dead. But now, NASCAR as a whole is dead. There's no way that true race fans like me are going to support this. Everything that NASCAR has done within the last decade and then some. It's just flat out ridiculous. There's no point. There's no way NASCAR is going to succeed in this element. There's no way. There is a reason that we don't want the chase. Because time and time again, all it does is provide garbage. Believe that. And even before the final chase, game show pun intended... There are rumors about these ridiculous chases going on. And if you're one of the rare few who actually follow me on Google+, which I use every so often, I told you guys that if the Truck Series got a chase, there's no way I would be able to support NASCAR. And now not only have they done it with the Truck Series, they've done it with Xfinity, there's no way... I can support NASCAR anymore. Now, after this. All the crap that they have done over the last decade and then some to ruin their point system. Everything was garbage. And also, they also suspect a few different people All the stuff they do. Do all this ridiculous stuff to these people, but these guys are our guys. Let's keep them safe. Only do something if something bad happens to them. Give these guys the hammer and the fist of justice and all that stuff, but these guys get a thing on the wrist. Right, Matt Kenseth?
It's gotten that bad. And I wasn't confident. And I was not in a confident state of mind in the middle of November because of all the stupid things going on, not only in my interest, but me on a personal level. But everything's gotten better now. I'm rejuvenated. And now, it's time for me to do what I should have done to begin with. No matter how good the racing is, if in the end there is nothing but despair, disgust, controversy, chaos, ridiculousness, and basically everything in the wrong direction, then essentially all that good racing you guys hype up ends up being nothing but a disaster and a disgrace to all of auto racing. We should be out there supporting true forms of auto racing. The ones that actually care about their racing series and survival and legitimacy. Like the NHRA. Like IndyCar. Like pretty much all forms of off-road. I know they're very good with it. And also, if they'll ever show them again on television, Stadium Super Trucks. That has a lot of potential. But NASCAR? Nope. They're done. There's no way we can support NASCAR. Not after last year, and sure as hell not after this. This is the final nail in NASCAR's coffin. Caution Clock? Screw that. Xfinity Chase? Screw that. Truck Chase? Sure as hell screw that. If you're a true racing fan, then you know what to do. It's time we tell NASCAR to screw off. You are not a legitimate racing series anymore, and we will not support you. We will take our racing fandom to other racing series. Legit racing series. Racing series that actually care. Because NASCAR, face it. It's going to take every other racing series in the world to re-legitimize auto racing to the level it should be at. Because of what you guys have done. To unlegitimize it. You are part of the reason that auto racing has fallen in numbers all the years. And now it's time for us true auto racing fans to support those auto racing series that are truly legit. Ones that actually care. And NASCAR, you're not on the list. I will continue to do NASCAR videos on the, this channel. But basically it's going to reflect on the past. Because as far as I'm concerned... NASCAR has no future. Not with this. And that's my final answer.